trying to be careful. I don't want to set certain things down and have us buy them from you. <laughs> <laughs> haven't gone through this car. <laughs> I mean, it's a big house. Yeah. It's a big old house. <laughs> so we have all this. Cool this. stuff. Cool stuff. Yeah. Oh, I hear that. Oh, yeah. <coughs> that is supposedly sold. Yeah. Supposed to be sold. It's good. Um, other than that, that's it. <laughs> that's sold. <laughs> <laughs> well, other you than that. Stuff, you're still yeah, yeah the dining room set stuff for Okay. Me. The, I mean, the good thing is, yeah, I definitely want to look through some of this. Yeah, just whatever, just dig in. No, I, I appreciate it. Is that all? Yeah, put them all in one bag. <laughs> this one. Yeah, a lot of the stuff is... No, this is a nice property out here too, man. So say, y'all build out here? I love it. Yeah, Chad was out here just a while ago. Was he? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice out here, man. It's nice, quiet. Are you taking I can. Did you bring it up? Yeah. Mm -hmm. The problem too, Josh, is you just get... It's just so much. It is. And it gets to a point where when you've moved it enough, you're like, I don't care. Just I don't go away. <laughs> I don't go away. No, I mean, I feel you. I'm not trying to get rich off this stuff. I know that. Right. But yeah. Yeah. It's the small stuff that. Oh, dude, like. It happens all the time. All the time. You ain't, it, they ain't big money. That's like 10 bucks, you know. This is something that like, or if I have other Halloween stuff, I'll put it with it. And there's another lady in Williamsburg. Do you think you can sell that for something? Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, hey, that's why you're here. <laughs> have that, buddy. A, a lot. this pile is? Uh-uh. Scrap metal pile. Oh, really? Yeah, serious. I mean, as long as you don't try to charge me for it, but. No, if you want that, then. Darn the way, it's crazy. <laughs> so, if all the pieces are, if they're not, what I check yeah, for I can't swear is will me. parts, you know. I think there's a part, 13 bucks. Okay. So you can break it down if you need yeah. to. Yeah, if, if it's okay. incomplete, I break it down. Gotta be careful. I don't want to set certain things down and try to buy them from me. <laughs> <laughs> There's anything in the pile that you can look at and take it out. The schools here have these great big bins and they take yep. textiles. Yep. Curtains. Pretty much anything soft. They don't do cushions. I don't think they do they do pillows or anything like that. But anything, you know, curtains, blankets, t shirt, you know, shoes, mm -hmm. they take more than I thought they take, I think. Belts. Shoes, backpacks, and it doesn't matter the condition. I don't know what they do and how they manage to make it work. I don't know. Half of the stuff I'm gonna keep for myself. Brittany's like, no, you're not. So. No, Christmas stuff does good because it's the season for it. Yeah, especially right now. Mm. Yeah. I don't mind people I trust. 
100%. Uh, and estates just get, you can't keep tabs on everybody either. You know, there were certain things we sell that were kind of cool. Mm-hmm. What did I get? But I was tickled pink. Man, look at the bubble. Is there a bug zapper? I've always wanted a bug zapper. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? I bought one of them from a... I bought two of those from Yard Sales. So this one, I've never seen one this big. It's probably... It's got to be two and a half feet tall. Mm-hmm. It's flipping huge. I said, yep, going out by the patio. I tell you, man. A griddle, brand new in the box. I had to cut the tape to get into. The I'm bad about it. I'm like, like that. That that's comical to me. This what, is. When's that from? What what? It's the '70s. Right. Hamilton Beach. Brand new in that, the box. That's why. Never been used. Cause it's 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 still sealed. You know what? I mean? <laughs> like, now that's I did find funny too. Microwave. They've got a lot of microwave stuff. But I get it because they would have come up when there was no microwave and the microwaves came out and it that. was a big deal. Westminster. These things are usually roached out. Let's you know, see. I tried to give that to my niece. She goes, why do I want it? I said, that's the original pizza. <laughs> you ain't never heard audio like this. Then you showed her a record player and right. she was she was in heaven. It's that? skipping. It's good. That is good Watch this. I'm gonna fast forward. <laughs> Super cool. I don't know why that pizza plate is so cool. Do, 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 do. Oh, that's cool. You can, you can get on board or you can get left behind. Yeah, and guess what? Mom and Pop only has the same 30 people going into it. Right. Nobody else is going into There's it. There's a lady up, right up the street from here that's um, got a place. Mandy goes, I, I, maybe I'll talk to her. I said, honey, I ain't never seen nothing leave her stuff. I've only seen things go in her building. See, that's cool. I thought that was kind of cool. It's too. weird and lady. cool. You can't see much of it, but... That's all it takes is one person undercutting the next person undercutting the next person. And then a twenty dollar bowl is now four ninety nine. No, I got a guy that just likes aluminum coolers. I put it aside and I was like, you could probably sell it. Yeah, I don't know. 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 Yeah, I
out. Well, I the car. Oh. Oh, you're good. Okay. And uh, Granny was one of three girls. Yeah, one of one of three that bought three stuff. Right, one of three. Bought but three. The, so they were common. If they bought something, they bought it in threes. Oh, uh, okay. Like there's three of those stupid microwave coffee <laughs> pot things. Uh huh. Yeah, that's what I think. I think. Don't... Zach, will you will you let me know roundabout where I'm at so I know whether to keep going. That's what I need y'all to tell me. Um, I'm close. I can I can dig more. I can I can dig more. It had it had about that much dust on top of it. He wiped some of it off already. I'm not trying to be funny. I'm not trying to be a pain. I don't know. We don't know. Yeah. You know. I know, but I want I want y'all to get I don't know. Thank you for the time of letting me like yeah, go through time, it. I wish I'd have called you sooner. <laughs> I'm I'm seriously yes. gonna tell my wife she's she's more she's better at being more meticulous than I am. I'm and like a... Know, I couldn't tell you how many of those books would go away. Yeah, you probably threw some things away that somebody else would want what like are they you went missing Tough. Tough. Like, um, you're not going to hurt our yeah, feelings. No. I can be honest with you there. Make a um, 120 bucks. Works for me. <laughs> All right. So it's the next day. We are back from that nice little private pick that I got to do at a friend of mine through church's um, house. They took over a family member's house and they're just trying to clear it out because they're going to do some great work on that house. So I'm going to quickly cover with you kind of roughly what we picked up. We wanted to pay up a little bit. I had $120 with me, so I wanted that to go to them for, you know, they're going to be doing a lot of work out there. But Mrs. Flips also went to the thrift store that day, and she didn't do bad either. So I'll let her cover that part. I'm just going to cover with you quickly some of the cool stuff that's going to bring in some pretty good money. Yeah, so a lot of this stuff was older. I mean... And a lot of it looked new, you know, well, everything pretty much has its original box, but barely used or new. Um, these little Westminster, there are none of these listed. They're AM, FM, radio, headphones. Um, looked on Worth Point, last ones went for 27. I'm going to probably ask 30 or 35. I have the only listing, so that shouldn't be bad. These we may just keep. They're cool little Halloween candles. This thing I thought was going to be a good one. It is a Streamliner. It is a good size, but it's not, you know, one of the most popular brands. We may get 30, 35 for that. Um, these are just going to double up. They're pretty cheap, maybe 10 bucks. They're vintage Christmas. I haven't looked up Rocking Santa or testing, you know, tested him yet, but he's pretty cool. I know we're going to keep all of those Christmas decorations. They were pretty cool. Um, this little ice bucket if I can get it out of the box it's just a really cool copper look like I said this stuff looks brand new um, it's a $20 piece these are some really nice duck brandy glasses it's got the designer right there gotta get in some good light uh, I'll read it. Ned Smith. Um, they're like the little gold rimmed with the box, the way they're kind of stored. I'm thinking like 30 or $40. It's pretty cool. See, this is what I was saying. All of this new in package stuff. This isn't a big money maker, but new in package, $25. This whole box is old vintage books, some dating back to the late 1800s on into the 1950s got a lot a lot of these together just for like antique books you know people like to decorate with those and 
put them on the shelf. More little cool Corning Microwave Plus. There weren't any of the measuring cups listed, so that may be like a $20 lister. We have a good number of the natural science. The Golden Book Encyclopedia. Sorry, it's having a hard time focusing. But those sell really well, about $60. This was really cool. And I love that we have a box with it, but yes. In the doghouse, we found this sold comp on this one right here for $40 for that one. So with the box, that should do pretty good. Another little, the Grind-O-Matic and the Shred, oh, Grind-O-Mat, Shred-O-Mat. Um, haven't gone through all the pieces. We can part this out, you know, as good old Kevin, Commonwealth Picker likes to say. When in doubt, part it out. Should do pretty good, but if it's complete, it's also another like $30 item. So, got this cool thing here, which is the We Fry by Presto. Um, I said they packed this stuff up so well. Um, all looks pretty good. It's a $30 piece. Then we have this Cosmopolitan Yogurt Maker with extra canisters these things are glass like the milk glass they look really really cool not quite sure on the value there got a few like a coleman and then a got thermos those two right there in really good shape picked up this coleman cooler that i have a good direct buyer he likes the aluminum or metal finish stuff which is good but the two really good uh, money makers. Let me open this one up. Okay, here we go. This is the the Underwood 319. And I'll try to remember to put a lot of soul comps up. But this is probably about a $90 item. It's got the case with it. And then this was really cool. This was the Squeezo Strainer. The Improved look at the the crazy graphic on the box and when I say this stuff looks unused I mean um, once again I can park this out but if it is complete we're looking at a hundred to a hundred and thirty dollars so all in all kind of my low ball number is still gonna make about 350 to four hundred dollars but now I'm gonna let mrs. flips tell you what she picked up at the thrift store. All right, Mrs. Flip, so you slipped on over to the thrift store while I was kind of, uh, you know, played some disc golf, went to this private pick. Um, you picked up a few things, but you didn't do bad. Yeah, I was like budgeting. I was like, okay, we don't really need a lot of stuff. I knew you were going to pick up all of this stuff. Um, but I went to our three local thrifts, found a few little things. Um, so I'll go over those. The first thing that I found was this Cutco knife. Yeah, um, you, you think she's gonna sell it, guys? No, she's she's trying no, to take I'm, me out. Yeah. It is kind of, I mean, look at that thing. Um, <laughs> no, we're we're definitely selling it. Um, this is only fifty cents. Yeah, so yeah. Cutco's really super good brand, and yeah. that's a really good size. Yeah, this this knife by itself should sell for about twenty dollars plus shipping. Um, I mean, everybody knows the name Cutco. If you've never found it, a lot of them have this like little handle. Yeah. And they say Cutco right on the knife. So they're super easy to identify and look up. They even have, each knife has its own number. So that's super duper easy. Then went that to cool. the next thrift store. And this is like a Christmas toy um, maker. little animatronic. Yeah, so you plug him in and he works. His little head moves and his hammer kind of bangs up and down. Um, paid 10 bucks for this and comps look like they're around like 60 to $70. Nice. Which is really cool. It's a great time of year to sell Christmas stuff too. And then at that same thrift, picked up this, this thing. Really I've cool never looking. seen one like that. Xbox uh, Guitar Hero guitar. Yeah, that Ten thing is cool. Ten bucks for this, um, and that should go around the same price, right around seventy dollars as well. So it was just really cool looking. Um, and again, I don't really know anything about these. 
but super easy. There's a model number on the back, so you can just look it up. <laughs> you paid ten dollars for that, so it wasn't ten dollars. Yeah, wasn't so too bad. I mean, twenty into one forty. All right, what's in the bag? This. And this I got. Um, I got this at Goodwill. I found this, so when I saw it, we've talked. I mean, it just obviously look at that. It's really cool. Yeah. Budweiser. It's on the front. Tag. It's down the sleeves. Yeah, it's it's on the back. Genuine down the sleeves. It's got the back print. Um, yeah. Don't really know what this would go for. Um, I think it was like five seventy five at our Goodwill. Um, but if you've watched any of our videos where we pick up clothes, you know we talk about we have um, call him our t-shirt guy. Yeah, last big vintage. Yes. You can find them on Instagram. Mm -hmm. We usually can work out a deal, trade, sell mm -hmm. to he, them. They make some money. That's what they do. They're really good with clothing. <laughs> so you messaged him and he was like, I yep. I messaged him and I was, out. I was like, hey, is this something that you would like? He was like, 100%. So yeah. we usually will do a little bundle deal, get a bunch of clothes ready for him. And then, yeah, like you said, do some kind of trade or yep. give him a good deal. So not bad all in all for, yeah. you know, the stuff we got at the private pick, mm -hmm. some little thrift store finds. Yeah, I spent like $26 for everything. So not too bad, but hey, we just wanted to bring you the stuff. Like it's still out there, people. We are in November. We're still finding stuff. Um, and then let people know what you do because mm -hmm. that's how we were able to do that private pick. They said, hey, we heard about this. Do you want to come by and check it out? Um, it's just too much fun. We, we really enjoy it. So... But we're gonna wrap the video up here just so we can, you know, say what we always say is just go out there and change the world with a sale. And a smile. Like if we do that, we're gonna keep on making business good and we're gonna keep helping people out. But yeah, be sure to give this video a like. Thank you guys so much. You guys have been great. We're almost to 2,000 subscribers. That's amazing. Uh, it's been a really cool journey and you guys have been such a vital part of it. So we wanna say thank you and we'll see you again next time. Go ahead, go ahead.